A new week starts right here, right now. It's a Monday live on the early line on SportsGrid. All across the SportsGrid network. That includes SportsGrid.com slash watch, where you can find your favorite destination to consume everything all across the grid. He is Donnie Wrightside. I am Ben Stevens. We are here together for the next three hours, up until 11 a.m. Eastern time. Three hours to look back on the weekend that was in the sports landscape. In a Sunday that featured a doubleheader of Game 7s. First in the NBA, opening round playoff series between the Magic and the Cavaliers. How that game and series was won and what is ahead in action around the association. We also saw a Game 7 last night on the ice in Dallas. A Game 7 the night before in Boston. We are on to the second round in both the NBA in Stanley Cup playoffs and a Major League Baseball season continues into its second month. All of that DRS and plenty more over these three hours up until 11 a.m. Eastern. It's always great to have a Monday show here with you, Ben, so we can be those armchair quarterbacks to go over what happened over the weekend and also how we can use that knowledge for games that are coming up tonight and also this week. Exciting times on the ice and also here on the NBA Hardwood and a horse race that came down to a nose on Saturday. How about that? A couple of incredibly close finishes, maybe the most close finishes we have ever seen at the 150th running of the Kentucky Derby. A magical and mystic Dan wins the 150th running of the Roses and the Cup Series in NASCAR yesterday as well. A close finish, of course, is always the case when you get to a seventh game of a playoff series. That was the case yesterday in Cleveland. Seven games In all seven times, the home team victorious. But yesterday was no cakewalk for the Cavaliers back in the land. They do win 106-94. They win by double digits, but they were down by double digits late in that opening half. Cleveland down by as many as 18 in the second quarter. Uses a huge second half led by Donovan Mitchell. He scores 24 of his game-high 39 points in the final two quarters as Cleveland rallies for a 106-94 victory at home to win this opening round set in seven games. Yeah, big third quarter here coming out of the break. 33-15, to 15, the Cavaliers won that quarter. It's very rare to say in the NBA at any time, 106-94 to 94 goes over the total because yeah. that one was even below a 200, which was crazy. And quite frankly, started out 24-18. to 18. That might have been an absolute steal, but good on there for Mitchell because he wasn't having a good game to start. I believe maybe 2 of 12 from the floor, turned it on 39 points, but also in a losing effort here. This team's going to get better, and sometimes the maturing process here, you got to go through some tough times. Paul Obama Carroll was fantastic during this series in a game where his team only scored 94 points. He had 38 and 16 in that game as a 21 year old. The Orlando Magic are in good hands, but that's a win that the Cavaliers needed. And also, how did this series play out? Call it since basically game three, game four. It's going seven games because nobody can win on the opposing team's floor. And the Magic tried their best to do that with that early lead, but credit the Cavaliers for coming back at home and winning that one handily. DRS, they say a series does not begin in the postseason until a team wins on the road. Maybe that opening round set between Cleveland and Orlando never truly began. We will look at the stars of the series that includes the second-year pro and the reigning rookie of the year in the NBA, Paolo Banquero, in a huge final two games out of Donovan Mitchell. The main reason Cleveland advances to the second round where the Boston Celtics await. Game number seven yesterday in Dallas, where in this series, DRS, on the ice in the National Hockey League, the first four games, no team could win at home. Road teams victorious, so Dallas, who had home ice advantage, was able to claw out of a 2-0 hole to win yesterday 3-2, to to win the series four games to three over the Vegas Golden Knights. Games five through seven, home team victorious. The Stars bounce back with a victory to send home the reigning Stanley Cup champs after only one round. You want those deciding games in your building, even if it didn't work out all that well earlier in the series. Case in point there with the Cavaliers. They had a seven-game series. They won four at home. They advanced. But in a game seven, you always want that game at home. And there you go. The Stars with a two-to-one victory. Moving on in a valiant effort here for the Golden Knights. But maybe they'll rue the day that they just didn't handle their business on home ice like they needed to. 
So for me, I said three to two. That's my mistake. It was Radic Fasca late in that game to net the winner for the Dallas Stars. And that is why they are on to the second round to take on the Colorado Avalanche. Round number two in the Stanley Cup playoffs did start yesterday at Madison Square Garden. The Rangers in game number one, a series underdog against Carolina. The Canes, the Stanley Cup favorites entering the second round. But the Rangers make a statement inside MSG. 4-3 to three, the victory for New York in game number one. They take that early series lead. Yeah, lean on your top goal scorers and your top players. That's what the Rangers have been doing here. And also coming into the series, an anomaly here. The Rangers, with more points than anybody in the NHL and home ice advantage, were underdogs for the series before game one. Now that'll flip over to the New York Rangers. We'll see if the Carolina Panthers, excuse me, Carolina Hurricanes can back this one up before they go back to Charlotte. A huge weekend in Major League Baseball between the two teams that sit atop the World Series. Odds the two teams we expected to battle for a National League pennant all year long. But this weekend in downtown Los Angeles at the Ravine, it was all Dodgers blue. 5-1 victory yesterday in the series finale that featured two homers out of Shohei Otani, including one that traveled more than 460 feet. The Dodgers pull off the weekend series sweep over Atlanta three games in LA the Dodgers win all three I mean don't look now for Shohei Otani because the focus has always been on Mookie Betts here as a heavy favorite to win the MVP Mookie Betts still hitting 352 but take a look at Shohei Otani after going 4-4 yesterday with three RBI and two home runs he's now hitting 364 leading Major League Baseball in home runs that is outrageous here this team is stacked and boy oh boy did they put away the Braves and as a Phillies fan love to see it baby love to see it You do love to see a DRS, and the Phils have won five straight. They have the most wins in all of MLB with 24. Philadelphia now sits atop the National League East. The Dodgers, the second most wins in baseball and in the NL with 23 alongside the Orioles, the Yankees, just to name a few. We go around Major League Baseball where the hottest team last week, all weekend long, came to a close yesterday. The Twins had won 12 consecutive games before the series finale yesterday against the Boston Red Sox, but all good things must come to a close. The Red Sox win the finale in Minnesota 9-2 to over the Twins. Again, snapping that 12-game win streak, the Red Sox were close to a dollar and a half money line underdog yesterday. They cash a big plus money ticket. Yeah, hammered them 9-2, to two, 11 hits here for the Red Sox. And sometimes if you want a streak to be snapped here, best to just get hammered in that baseball game, which the Twins did. Maybe they can start a new streak, but they're back in business now in 2024 after that long streak. Yep, absolutely so. The American League Central will be one to follow. The Guardians still sit in first place. Alec Manoa, remember him? An all-star two years ago in the American League in Major League Baseball. He makes his MLB debut, his first outing since last August after he was down in the minors last year getting shelled as well. Not a good start yesterday in the nation's capital against Washington. Four innings out of Manoa, seven runs given up, six of them earned a bad debut. The Nats win 11 to 8. Washington, even, even 500 at 17 and 17. The Blue Jays, three games below 500. Yeah, that's not a good look here because you're just one of those good vibes coming back to the major leagues. You would have even taken a quality start. Five innings pitch, three earned runs, keep it moving. Didn't happen for Manoa, so certainly those question marks are going to pop up if they even let him get a second start back in the majors here this year. Yeah, I would be surprised to see that be the case. It was so bad that the Nationals were a home money line favorite against Toronto yesterday with Alec Manoa on the bump. Big transfer portal news yesterday. The transfer portal entering it has closed. Where guys select their next destination has not. Cliff Amore is on his way from Rutgers to Alabama. A good offseason for Nate Oates and the Crimson Tide and revamping that roster. Game number seven yesterday in Cleveland. Who won the series? We'll tell you that.